And cut. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was beautiful. All right. We're here with, what's your name? Brennan Adam Bruzzo. That's right. How old are you? I am 16. Go ahead and say it. I'm the junior? No. Nope. I'm 16. Uh, going on? 17. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, you will be 17 before yeah. too long, which is crazy That's to true. me. <sighs> Getting my baby. Car for my birthday, right? <laughs> Video proof. Yeah. Corvette. Mm. I didn't know you had that much money. A little red one. Yeah. All right. Mm. Brennan's our oldest. He's the leader of the pack, so to speak, in terms of, you know, wow. kids and the yeah. siblings or whatever. He's also the one that we learn on. <laughs> We cut our teeth on. But so, every kid is different, so it's are. almost like relearning parenting with each and every kid. That's right. But That's right. From family life to business life, we can do hard things. The, the dauntless life. life. Kill time. Family life. It's family Friday. So, Brennan, what are your main interests? Storytelling. I mean, I guess that's okay. it because that kind of, kind of fits the. That's a good. Yeah. Storytelling. Yeah. Okay. What? Uh, I I like. D dive in yeah, a little deeper. I'm, I'm, I like movies and acting and dance and writing and music and that realm. The performing arts. Yes, the performing arts. Yeah. So pretty much every form of storytelling. Yes. I'm an excellent stand-up comedian. There you go. Yeah. What's the deal with airline food? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jerry. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous that you aren't being loud enough. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Because you're talking like this to okay. me right here. All right, I'm sorry. Hopefully they can hear. Do we need to start over? Nah. All right. Project. Use your projecting okay, skills. Okay, I will project. I'm, I'm kind of tired. Our right. microphone is over there, so. Hi. Hello. All right. Send your words that way. Projection. Okay. Now you'll be able to hear All this right, of the video. All right. What are three words you would use to describe yourself? Super duper awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. That's it. Super duper awesome. All right, what are three words you would use to describe him? Are we going? Are we going back and forth again, Adam? Sure. Do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? I'll go first. He is adventurous. He likes to go strike ahead. out on some adventure. Even from a young age, he used to scale our window panes. You know, like a yeah. spider yeah. monkey. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And he, uh, yeah, he's always been adventurous, mm -hmm. courageous. Sorry. Up well, mine is similar to that, but now you're just going to have to pick a new word. So the first word I would pick to describe him would be brave because he is willing to try things that I would have been scared to do in high school in terms of performing. He, I mean, even this alone, he walked into a room full of girls who have been dancing ballet since they were three when he was 13 years old. And he started <laughs> what was pretty much his first dance class because yeah. he had found a real interest in musical theater and you gotta mm -hmm. dance like that's brave mm -hmm. for a 13 year old boy well, i'd say a big part of that is you guys being like yeah this will be fine just just try it out you know encouraging me along and like having parties to like <laughs> i do think back and i'm like how did i do, how did I do that <laughs> like yeah 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 brave you're just brave 
And you're also brave with your storytelling because I think you're willing to go there emotionally when not all 16-year-old boys would be willing to go there emotionally with a heavier story. Thanks. You're willing to engage in those challenging characters and bring something, a deeper level to the story. So, brave. All right, so you have adventurous, I have brave. Now it's your turn. Courageous. <laughs> Just kidding. Just yeah, oh, kidding. Sounds like a theme. <laughs> I would say another great word for Brennan would be uh, he is uh, creative. Uh, he also used to come up with these wild brain ideas at the age of four used uh, to well well this is where it began they're more refined the more, now. Yeah, yeah just a little bit <laughs> we no told him we, we <laughs> told him no made. too many times that he's like all right i gotta only bring the good stuff yeah. his ideas are way beyond what our capabilities as human beings and parents to support the ideas were <laughs> i tried yes. to build a boat and a hovercraft and <laughs> I, th- I think a rocket ship was in there. Maybe. Probably. <laughs> because I saw it in Minions. Mm. Or Despicable Me. Grew. Yeah. Grew. Mm-hmm. Built yeah. a rocket ship, so obviously so it's, it's like, doable. Yeah. The cartoon so can always, do it. His it's brain true. is always creating. Is always coming up with like, hmm, if you did this, you could do that. and then, So he's just, the, the creative juices are constantly on flow with this young man. Thanks, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. Okay, I would use the word honor because I think he um, just honors people by noticing and helping them to feel like uh, they're they're being seen. And that he makes sure that when he interacts with people, that they feel honored. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Word. Maybe that's honorable. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You know. Mm-hmm. All right. He's also very loyal. Mm-hmm. I would say that he sticks by his people, you know, even when maybe they don't deserve to be stuck by, but he is very loyal to them and will help them get through and and be by their side even when maybe it's difficult the last Um, to abandon a sinking ship (laughs) that's right that's right so yeah he's a he's a great friend and brother Mm -hmm. thanks and son of course but (laughs) all right yeah i guess so Mm -hmm. and the um i'm really i'm having a hard time narrowing it down not having a hard time thinking of the word. I'm having a hard time deciding between multiple yeah. words. I would say um, insightful. The words I was wrestling with were servant, wise, and insightful. But I think it's the wisdom that helps him be insightful. Like he can see uh, a deeper level in a situation. Or pull something out of a scenario that I wouldn't necessarily have thought to pull out of a scenario. That's part of what makes him a good storyteller, too. But he just, like, he's insightful in the way that he um, interacts with people and sees bigger pictures in in their lives and kind of can bring understanding to that. He's a deep kid. Mm-hmm. Sometime to the point where it like breaks his own brain. <laughs> Another word I would have used is friend. Because I just sometimes, not in that like weird where the parent is too much of a friend, but I, I feel a friendship with you. Thanks. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. Was that, that was three That's for it. each of us. Okay, we're cut off. Okay, if you, oh, no, wait, what three words would you use to describe your family? Family. 
That's hard. <laughs> I'd say fun, chaotic. Mm -hmm. I guess loving, yeah, mm -hmm. would be the final. Word. You passed, Brennan. That was chaotic. Right, you passed the test. <laughs> said the right things. All right, we can continue on with the interview now. <laughs> okay, uh, your, your turn to ask a question. All right. What actor would you play? No, what actor no, would no, play no, you? What actor would play? <laughs> no, 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 no. I can do this. I got this, okay? I'm a, I'm, I'm, I can do this. All right. What actor would play you in a movie of your life? Uh, uh, probably Kevin Hart. You know, <laughs> I, I, I think. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, The Rock. I mean, he's mm -hmm, pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh man. I, I'm really not sure. I think you have to go with an older actor. An older mm -hmm. actor? To catch your depth. Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner? <laughs> Do you even know who that is? <laughs> Vaguely. Okay, what about um, Tom Hanks? Yeah, mm -hmm. I like Tom Hanks. Yeah. Or. Um, I, I could support that. Oh, why am I blanking on his name? Wolverine? Oh. Uh... Why am I blanking on his name? Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Yeah. yeah. He's a he's go. a very versatile yeah. actor. Mm-hmm. Word. Yeah. Word. You support either of those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. I if do. Kevin Hart is not available. Yeah. If Kevin, Kevin Hart, Hart is not available. Or you know. The Rock. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Alright, uh, if you were a wrestler, what would your entrance theme song be? Uh it would be be Walk Like a Man by Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. <laughs> walk like a man, talk like a man, walk like a man, my son. Yeah, it'd be that song. And I'd like trot down on and and then You would prance? Yeah, I'd prance <laughs> down onto the <laughs> on the mats and then and then I'd just destroy my opponent. Go. And that would be like the mind games mm -hmm. because yeah. because you know they'd be like oh they'd this put guy guard down. yeah this guy's like, whatever and this then you spider just... monkey them yeah and then mm -hmm. it's spider monkey you helicopter them yeah, yeah. she was known for that as a kid um, <laughs> like Popeye but with two arms right passion passion he doesn't know karate but he knows crazy <laughs> all right. <clears throat> If you were in a zombie apocalypse, what three movie characters would you want to have on your team? Uh, who was it? All right. Dumbledore, just because he's a cool guy and he's got magic. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like he gives some, like, great Solid advice. advice. Yeah, yeah. Like, if there were two paths to choose, he'd choose the right one. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, and then Rick from Rick and Morty, just because he can invent anything out of nothing. Uh, just watch the Pickle Rick episode. <laughs> parental advisory. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm glad you put parental advisory yeah, you're welcome. in there. Uh, and then last but not least, oh man, uh... Who would balance out that pair? I I need like a final, like a like a psychiatrist. Right, you need someone sort. calm yes. and. Well, wise. Dumbledore is calm and wise, he but he wouldn't mm -hmm. impose himself on Rick enough to mm -hmm. like. You need somebody to mom him. Yeah. He would just. Uh, so you need a female. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A female, a strong female role to shut him down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a hard question. Who might that be? Um, Anne Frank. Obviously, I think that's the one. <laughs> okay. There you go. All Anne right. Frank. Harriet Tubman. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That could be interesting. Mm -hmm. It would be quite the 
mm-hmm. combination. Mm-hmm. I mean, she has been, even though she's both of those people are real well, people. They yeah. there have been movies, movies about, about them. them yeah. So I guess we yeah. could let that pass. Yeah, we'll give you a yeah. pass on that one. All right. All right. I support that. Okay, and your very last question: If you were deserted on a stranded, <laughs> if you're stranded on a deserted, deserted island. deserted, honey, it's deserted. If you were deserted on a stranded island. <laughs> I let said me, if me, you were deserted on a stranded island, that's what I started with. If you were stranded on, on a deserted, deserted island, island. An island that was deserted. What? <laughs> what three books would you take? Like, and you could take three books with you. What would they be? All right, okay, guys. Okay. All right. Easy peasy, right? Could you repeat the question? I don't think I can. <laughs> The Bible, just because just the ultimate story ever. Uh-huh. Uh, the dictionary with like um, definitions of each word. Because I plan on being there for like 400 years, right? So you just memorize. So I memorize words and definitions, and then I'd be able to like apply that to the third thing, which is a journal, an empty book that like goes mm-hmm. on forever and ever. I can just write in it and mm-hmm. occupy my brain. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely needs something to occupy his brain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a smart, that, the journal is a smart move for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I go crazy a lot. <laughs> All right. Everyone, that is... Wait, didn't we ask Isaac one more question about like who his spouse would be? No, that was, he was cho- he chose no, a he, spouse he chose for a spouse within. the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. do you want a spouse? You want to pick anybody? You want... He's done Harry with Tubman, girls. right? <laughs> Harry <a> Tubman. <laughs> yeah. She's like 200 now. That's old. Yeah, she's 250 or something like that. You know, whatever. We'll let it slide. Yeah. Age is just a number. <laughs> <laughs> that's All right. Br- that's Brennan Adam Russo. Oh. In a nutshell. <laughs> Is this gonna be the, the like, like art. thumbnail picture? Oh, you do the Joseph like Martinez, Almiron. <laughs> oh, I'm not tall enough. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nice. All right, friends, we'll see you next time. Ding. If you like our Dauntless vibe, then go ahead and like and subscribe. <laughs>